The Minnesota Music Coalition was formed last year to try and help independent musicians in Minnesota survive and thrive. Caravan du Nord is an excellent opportunity for artists like me to get out and play in front of really attentive audiences. We're used to being in the bars and uh, at festivals where there's thousands of people and it's a really nice intimate show when you're playing at a historic theater like this or any of the Caravan du Nord venues. You know, people are there to listen and um, it's the best possible scenario for us to win over new fans. Uh, you kind of get the chance just to, you know, maybe an opportunity these, these older bands, and, and ourselves included really, don't ever get. Uh, usually we're, you know, we're shoved off in the corner of some bar playing, which is, you know, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But it's nice to get the exposure to play in a, you know, a, a good sounding place. Um, you kind of um, really appreciate kind of how you really sound, you know, with, with a good sounding room. So we thought that if we took the risk out of the equation for both the bands to travel the distance they have to and for the performing arts centers to put on the show in the first place with the help of state arts legacy amendment funds then we would initiate um, hopefully the beginning of a dialogue between the music community in the Twin Cities and these performing arts centers in Greater Minnesota. I, I hope a lot more people show up for this because this is a rare opportunity. You never get to see stuff like this around here and it's it's awesome that somebody is doing stuff like that. Yeah, they're willing to put it out there, put it together and live music, especially in a town this small, really is a rarity. I mean you can probably count on one hand how many times it happens every year around here. Outside of the county fair. It's good to go around and, and show people what they're missing too, you know what I mean? I mean it's you know, for people in attendance, you know, it's something special. And it's also nice to not travel half an hour, 45 minutes just to see a show. You know, yeah. it's nice to go to your backyard and enjoy things like this. Really, the Minnesota Music Coalition grew organically out of a group of people who had been working in the local music scene for many years and wanted to find a way to help and put back. When you think of yourself going out on the road, you think of hitting big pubs like Chicago, Madison, Milwaukee. Um, but we do so well in these small towns, and I don't know if it's because, you know, it's really exciting when bands come to these towns and there's not as many opportunities for people to get out and see live music. Really and truly, I think you just have to ask for it. If you scream for it loud enough, people will start coming. There was a time where rappers never played in Mankato and never played in Sioux Falls, and kids just started to scream for it. We want it here, we want it here, we want it here. Those are not logical places for acts to stop while they're on tour. Really, yeah. if you look at it on a map, they just, they're not. I mean, people will just go to the big cities if, if you make it that easy for them. So you gotta just scream for it. And you've got, obviously, a great venue in this place, and I'm pretty sure you've got some empty rooms around the rest of the city that you could probably use for a rap show every now right. and then. So just ask for it. Ask loudly and often. It's, it really is like the Minnesota nice factor, but um, directed towards the arts. You know, people here are very patient. They're they're um, they're willing to come to shows. They're willing to put on shows. You know, people want to take risks here. They want to try to cultivate uh, people who they think are trying to do interesting and exciting things. And it's really a great place to to give it a shot. And um, you know, it doesn't have the same like global sheen as a place like. You know New York or Los Angeles, but you know I don't know if you, if that's always the most important thing. I think that every you know every city is really unique in how they uh, and how they use utilize the arts and how they um, and how the dif different artists that live there how they express themselves. So I think the, the arts in Minnesota is is fantastic. You know. I'm sorry, can I, I need to do just like a, a tiny bit of boosterism about the whole project there that, you this, go. that this night represents, which is months and months of work uh, on behalf of a, a, a number of people who are here tonight and a, a lot of people who aren't here tonight, who had this idea about bringing music outstate. Now, it's not like you guys can't bring music here.
here, whatever kind of music that you want to bring. And I, I've seen in the backstage area, there's a lot of signatures of artists that I love and that I like to see. But I also, I love the idea of people who otherwise probably wouldn't be able to come and play in Fergus Falls, being afforded the opportunity to come to a beautiful theater like this and to perform for you all. And so I really want everybody to put their hands together for the uh, Minnesota Music Coalition and their Caravan du Nord project. I think it's a very a worthwhile undertaking and a good expense of our tax money.